Hello my friends and welcome back to the Outer Worlds. In our last video, we learned what the chairman of the Halcyon Colony has in store for all of us, and now we're, in theory, going to try and stop him. But before we do that, we have a bunch of side quests to do, and let's take a moment where this beast inside this stasis chamber of sorts, his eyeball is still moving around and it's really freaking me out a little bit. It's it's kind of weird, hence the reason why we started here today. So anyway, we are going to start the day by doing this quest a long distance. Now we got this quest from Adjutant Sophia Akande. She has asked you to help her track down Phineas Wells. We headed to Wells' lab and we need to send the board a tracking signal from his terminal. And we brought it up to Wells and he mentioned that we could send a corrupted tracking signal to buy him some time, which we're going to do because um, down with man and the board and all that stuff. So let's see. Uh, here we go. All the way over here. So send a corrupted tracking signal. Okay, long distance is updated. Got an insane amount of experience points. We need to return to Ada. So we installed surveillance tracking signal relay running cacophony protocol, replicating artificial intelligence, modifying signal noise ratio, establishing connection error, signal status weak, board surveillance protocol failed, signal fidelity has been compromised. This terminal will attempt to establish a new connection once every cycle. Ah, oh, that should do it. You've bought me more than enough time. Okay, do you have anything else interesting to say to us? I won't wish you luck on the hope. Can't rely on luck. Rigorous calculations and sound logic. That's the ticket. What's on your mind? Oh, yeah. And, and let's not forget, we have to move the hope to Phineas's lab. That's going to be a whole experience, but nothing I'm going to worry about right now because we've got so much other stuff to do. So let's head back to the hope and finish up this quest by talking to Ada and then we're gonna go on a little tour of the colony, I think, next. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is <laughs> not flattering. No, he, he... You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. Oh, of course I do. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Hmm. You can now travel to Adjutant's landing pad. Um, Byzantium is a big place. It is. Well, I mean, it's not that big. At least not the board negative reputation decreased. Well, the board negative... Oh, the board are now agreeable. Oh, they like me. I feel like it should technically decrease because I didn't do what they wanted, but whatever, it's fine. So how do I know this isn't a trap? Byzantium is a big place. I was gonna say, yeah, it is, but like the part I can go to, it isn't. But wait, I have questions. Transmissions are so impersonal. I'd like to meet you face to face. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, <laughs> considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Um, I don't know. I guess not. So, let's see. I can go continue on long distance, but I kind of want to do all Halcyon in a day. And this is the taking a tour of the Halcyon colony that I was just making a very poor joke about. But anyway, we needed to go to Edgewater and click on another pylon beacon something like that and i wanted to do We're the orbit above edgewater captain i wanted to do the tour quest next in case it went to some of the planets that i have to go back to anyway oh did i miss a conversation dang it our body nothing hmm Let's go see if anyone else has anything new to say. Do I have any new decorations in here? It does not look like it. Yes, maybe. Were those here before? 
I don't know. Hey, you got a minute? Yes. You know, they're gonna make a serial about our adventures one day. Are they? I've been trying to think of a good title for this episode. I like the sound of the skip job. No, 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 wait, I got it. Hope in dark times. Get it? Hope? Like the ship. That's what folks in the business call wordplay. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah, I got it. Uh, this isn't a serial drama. We're not heroes in some fanciful story. We aren't. Not bad, Felix. Our adventure serials gonna need a name too. Oh yeah, what's your what's your name gonna be for the serial? <laughs> yeah, I've been thinking about that. <laughs> got a list right here. <laughs> Thrilling tales of the unreliable, or maybe spine-chilling stories from the edge of the system. <laughs> Was also considering astounding adventures in the other. I'm partial to that last one. Ether in the ether. I prefer the adventures of Heather and company. Now, um, I'm glad you're having fun, but we've got a job to do. Squeezes the bridge of your nose, Felix. That's the reality. <laughs> How about this one? Felix's adventures and shutting up and doing as he's told. <laughs> We're going with the third one. Right. I'm overdoing it again. Got it. Sorry, boss. I'm just excited, you know? Yeah. Stealing the hope from the board, skipping it across the whole damn system. <laughs> this is going to be great. I can't wait. Okay, I, I unless we all die horribly, then it, then it will be less great. Come on, boss. We're not going <laughs> to die horribly. It'd kill our ratings. <laughs> I'm sure you've got plans to make. As for me, I got to keep practicing my signature dropkick. Ugh. The hope might have cameras. Now, no, your signature dropkick is embarrassing. And, ugh, yeah, I, I had a thought and I thought it was funny, but I forgot what the thought was. So it's now, it's now less funny. If I still believed in the grand plan, a revelation like this would have seriously shaken my faith. Yeah? Knowing you, I can only assume you have already begun formulating a plan to deal with this. So tell me, what are we going to do? Well... I don't know yet. We ha we'll have to dig more into the issue and sort it all out. I fail to see how it's our problem. I don't know, but someone's going to die and it won't be us. Um, is he talking about the hope problem or is he referring to something else? I wish there was some context, Vicar. <laughs> um, um, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> well, when you figure it out, you can count on me to back your play. Oh, thanks, Vicar. Your instincts haven't failed us so far. Anything you'd like to discuss? Probably not, but now that's it. Let's see what Ellie has to say. So we're really going to do this? Yep. I've seen lots of crazy, Captain, but Phineas is in a class of his own. Do you really think he knows what he's doing? Sending us to skip the hope into Teratu's orbit right under the board's nose? Um... I'm, I'm not really sure he does actually know what he's doing, but it probably is our best chance. There's a sobering thought. Makes me want to drink. Kind of. I think this whole plan's insane, but it'll make a good story. You know, if we survive. <laughs> Speaking of, I get that Phineas thinks he's saving the colony, but what about you? Why risk your neck on this crazy scheme? Well, what about you? You're still with me. The type of piece people Halcyon deserves. The, t the people of Halcyon deserve a chance. So do the colonists on the Hope. It's just my kind of crazy. What else am I going to do for better or for worse? My future is tied to Halcyon now. I mean, that's kind of the reality. And then this sounded better than being home on a alone on a Saturday night. I mean, I I'm going to go with the fourth, fourth one because that is kind of the reality of the situation. Makes you wish for a fancier ship with bigger engines. Don't know about you, but I'd be out of here if I could. Still, all this depends on the other Hope colonists. Are they going to pull us out of the shit? Or are we all just going to leave a bigger, uglier stain on this corner of the galaxy? That That is a, a potential problem, you know, because we're already running out of food, and then we're going to wake up more people and then run out of food that much faster. Uh, we'll pull it together. I'm confident in that. If they're half as capable as me, we'll be in good hands. They're probably more capable than, than Heather, let's be realistic. We were kind of the the leftovers, I think. We got it. We got a, like, we won the lottery for a spot to go to Halcyon, probably. Um, let's see. I'm not optimistic, but we've got to try something before we all go down. And then we won't know until we make it happen. 
Um, let's go with the second one. This is why I like you, Captain. Thanks, Ellie. Well, whenever you're ready to do this, I'm with you. Okay. Anything else? Probably not. Nope, that's it. I feel like this is like end of game conversations going on here, but I'm not near the end of game yet. Sam. Dust accumulation analysis. 2.5 years. Um, that's new. And then Nyoka, how about you? Hey, Cap. Hmm, I guess that's it. Because I don't want to talk about the Gorgon job yet, because I, I have side quests to finish first, because I think I'm going to finish the side quest and then start tackling the, uh, the DLCs. Oh, nope, this way. Because I feel like we're getting near-ish enough to endgame that I can do that and feel good about it. I swear, next time we put in the Groundbreaker... Oh, I'm so nervous. Okay, I think, yeah, we've had that conversation before. Okay, so let's go out to Edgewater. And I'm actually going to bring... Take someone to watch your back, please. I, I will, Ada. Don't worry. I'm actually going to bring Parvati and Sam, because I feel like they should have something to chat about, right? I mean, he's a robot. She likes robots. She gives him cute little nicknames. Uh, something could happen, right? Maybe? So where are we going? All the way out there. So let's go to the community center first. It's kind of close. And then we're going to go down and around. No doubt there are probably marauders who have respawned or something. Yep. Muting volume now. <laughs> Muting volume. Here we go. Congratulations, customer. Nice one. Your SAM unit is performing at peak capacity. There's more of you. Ah, here we go. Gun is great on lower levels. I just gotta get a ton more money to upgrade it. Oh, Sam, you're not sneaking at all, are you? Mm. Nice. I critted. That's nice. Oh, guilt ridden. Killing so many people has made you uneasy with fighting humans. Guilt ridden, ranged weapon sway plus 100%, ranged weapon spread plus 50%. No, thank you. I don't need my guns to do any worse than they already are. Guilt ridden. No, I. They. They would have killed me first if they were given a chance. I don't know why we're coming all the way up just to clear out a building that we don't even need to go into. Nothing? Okay. Um, can we just kind of cut directly there, or is that going to be a problem? Potentially a problem. Here we go. This job's difficulty oh is oh one, two, three. Don't mess with us. Yeah, you tell him, Parvati. And Sam, I'm sure Sam helped. I haven't been up here before. Easy. Easy peasy, right? I feel like I hear beasts. Primal nest discovered. Well, we haven't been here before. I feel the need to kill things. Sweet. <laughs> Having this gun is so amazing right now. Oh, come on. We want to come down and around. This 
smooth. I'm getting better eventually. I mean, it only took how many weeks <laughs> to get better? Oh, did you marauders get eight? Darn. Hands on the glass. Is that it? I feel like that's it. I'm hearing Sam wander around. Um, there's another triangle, but it's looks like it's up there. I must have missed it. Corporate commander. Interesting. Oh. Then reload. Oh, Parvati, are you okay? Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> Thank you for covering my back. More corporate commanders and things I can sell. Okay, let's focus. <laughs> I mean, I... I didn't explore very well. It was a little open worldy. It, it it didn't. It's fine. I'll I'll I got there eventually. Where is this ship coming from? Spacer's choice potentially. Imagine if somebody actually did this tour. They would be so dead the minute they left Byzantium. Oh, wow. There is a, they would be super dead. G Gigantus? What? Oh, no. Oh, no. Holy crap. And maintenance job fulfilled. Holy crap. He ate a lot of people. Look at all that stuff. Oh, it's just... I can't. Sam, this is why I don't bring you around. You freak me out with all the noise that you make. Is clean, mean, and ready to kill germs. Yeah, you go kill those germs, Sam. Wow, great work! Oh, I need to try Sam's special. I gotta remember to do that. Battery levels are fully charged. charged. Sorry, Sam, I didn't actually mean to um, click on you. It's fine. I'm just gonna come over here and search the dead bodies and <laughs> get things to sell and, you know. There could be like a, a, a notepad of some sort with some miscellaneous information about about the people here. Oh, it's still so pretty. Okay. Here we are at our beacon. We hope you've enjoyed your trek across the breathtaking landscape of Emerald Vale. Terra 2's most fertile settlement and future breadbasket of Halcyon. Take a moment to enjoy this vista with a can of Spacer's Choice Saltuna before you make your way to Mighty Scylla, <laughs> Halcyon's biggest asteroid. Okay, so we need to go to Scylla next. On Scylla. So where else did I have to go? Oh, I gotta get all those outfits. So Pravati is Groundbreaker. The Low Crusade is Fallbrook. And Chimerist is Groundbreaker. Okay, so we just need to go back to our ship, which is here, and then head off to Scylla. Oh, don't think I need my gun out. <laughs> what, nothing to say, Ada? Really? Didn't you miss me at all? I mean, I feel so unloved. Just saying. Let's try the regular Scylla landing pad that will hopefully get us there. Destination reached. Scylla. Thanks, Ada. 
Will you miss me this time, maybe? Oops, my bad. There we go, my, my bad, sorry. I, I should use that more, but I just don't. <laughs> okay, we're gonna keep the same group. And now where are we gonna go? So we are not too far from it. Um, I didn't activate it, did one of you two? Cause that's kind of, okay. That happened. All right. The outlaws are back. Industrial stain. <laughs> yeah, putting trash in its rightful place for more than 70 years. <laughs> that was great. Oh, dang it. I'm not going to get to loot anything, though. I didn't really shoot that much. Oh, darn. Oh, good. I can loot some stuff. But that was excellent. Thank you, Sam, for that moment of enjoyment today. <laughs> okay. over here now is it gonna be inside the bubble or oh it's outside the bubble okay let's quick save Scylla is our colony's busiest mining settlement but don't take our word for it ask one of the hundreds of proud ancestors miners going about their work right now um you're in for a real treat because our last stop takes us to a charming little village outside stellar bay Located on Terra One. Is this charming village called Fallbrook? Cause that, cause that would be amusing. They really would make you go outside the bubble <laughs> for the tour. That is excellent. <laughs> this tour would totally kill you, like right away. <laughs> okay, so we're going to Monarch, right? I'm gonna go to Monarch, Stellar Bay landing pad. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. I know. Will you miss me this time, Ada? Cause I miss you every time. <laughs> okay, so we need to bring Take El- someone to watch your back, please. Oh, thanks, Ada. I thought you didn't care anymore. So this time we'll bring Ellie. And go do her quest after we find the next beacon. But they said it was my final one, so there you go. Let's go to region and hmm. UDL Lab. Marauder River Camp. Well, let's try fast traveling to the lab and see how close we get. Well, after much back and forth, I finally found my way over-ish to where we need to go for the next beacon. I tried going to the UDL lab, but couldn't get through because mountains. So I had to come up and around, or over and around, rather. And and down, down there it is. I've killed dozens of marauders and raptodons and other beasties that have respawned. Now we have a mega canid. Again, it just reinforces that whoever sends you off on this tour would, would like you dead. Because that's what's going to happen. Nice one. Thank you. Keep this up and I won't have any new battle scars. <laughs> well, I mean, like, it was kind of the point. But again, another place that... Was this just not here? Did I explore poorly? I probably explored poorly, but wow. Mega Canid for sure. Holy crap, that thing is like a huge. All right, Beacon, what do you got to say now? Welcome to Terra One, the most Earth like world in Halcyon. Take a moment to admire the triumph of civilization over nature. And while you're at it, say hello to the local settlers. We hope you've enjoyed this guided tour across the wonders of Halcyon. Please return to the Bureau of Exploration for a special prize. Um, the, the 
most Earth-like worlds, what with like sulfur and like acid everywhere, I feel like, I feel like you've never been to Earth, sir. <laughs> So, okay, that is as, as that quest is as complete as it can be. There are the right words. So now we need to return to Alonzo. You found all the beacons for the treasure hunt, and we need to go collect our prize. It was a hat, right? But let's see. I need to go and do the Low Crusade next, which is in Ballbrook. There's a fast travel point, which is perfect. And then I think I also need to go see the Icono class, maybe. I need to figure out this clothing situation and what I need to buy or not buy. Oh, before I forget, I did want to, hang on, look at my character entry, reputation, the board. Oh, I'm now agreeable with them, interesting. Hmm. That changed real fast. Hey, yes. Knock, knock. Oh no, you and your knock, knock oh, jokes. Way, White. That's not how the game works. Okay. The place. You ready to get my money or what? Oh yeah. We're totally ready to get your money, but let's say first, you know, just in case. Hello, insurance agent. I see you're still in one piece. However, you never know when that could change. Consider our accidentally torn into tiny fragments coverage. Note that all of your fragments must be recovered and must be smaller than a standard bit cartridge for the payouts <laughs> to kick in. Well, I need you to change the beneficiary on Marilyn Fenhill's life insurance policy. I remember that one. That's the young socialite who broke her neck, right? Mm-hmm. Of course, no one remembers me for the marauders I've killed or the bits I've stolen. <laughs> Typical. <laughs> That claim was airtight. Our best investigators couldn't find an exclusion for that one. Well, uh, uh, let's stay on topic or, oh, what else can you tell me? Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. Well, we interviewed the parents extensively. They had plenty of awkward childhood stories that illustrated their daughter's clumsiness and capriciousness. Oh. Hey, those are entirely made up. <laughs> Furthermore, the claim spurred a whole line of fashion-related policies. It's become a very lucrative market. Really? Oh, fashion-related policies. I'm guessing like high heels or skirts or something, but anyway, how would I amend that claim? You can't, of course. Only Miss Fenhill can assign her beneficiaries. And she's dead. If we let every friend, relative, and acquaintance change a policy like that, people would do it all the time. Imagine the paperwork. Okay, but how would I change it? Marilyn Fenhill is in debt and forget it. No, we want the money. So how can we change it? Oh, you mean hypothetically? Yes. Well, hypothetically, you'd access the terminal in the back room that contains data on all our policies. Really? And you'd... Theoretically, add the beneficiary of your choice. But you wouldn't actually do that, of course. That would be fraud. That would be fraud. That would be fraud. Okay, Marilyn Fenhill isn't dead. Bribe, I've got 1,960 bits here that say you can do it. And intimidate is you'll do this or you'll be filing your own claim. Hmm. Hmm. Let, can I just do it myself? That's for the best. What can I do for you? Okay, let's say that's all for now. What does the quest say? So, the insurance agent mentioned a terminal in the back room that stores all their policy data. Where, that's not the right back room I'm assuming. Is it up here perhaps? Ooh. Okay, perfect. So view recent records. Totally going to do that. Uh, Ahmed Bert Whistle. 
The claim is a loss of a gentlemanly honor and good name. I entered into a gentleman's wager with several chaps at Billingsley's regarding the nature and composition of the Spacer's Choice product, tarmac and cheese. I was quite certain the product did contain actual tarmac, and my companions wagered that it surely did not. Lo and behold, investigation into the matter revealed that I had been the victim of a gross misunderstanding. Yet how was I to know what manner of fare common factory workers eat? And how could, how could Spacious Choice be so irresponsible as to advertise that its product contained tarmac when it clearly does not? So the damage to my reputation has been most grievous. I find myself unable to return to my previous haunts for fear of the stares and chuckles that will follow. My honor as a gentleman has been called into question, as has the nature of my relationship with livestock. So resolution denied improper form work. Claimant forgot to say the magic word, please. So we have Fanny Cartwright. Claim a uh, loss of one fingers. I've been an assistant saw operator with CNP for five years. Most of the blade guards broke last year and management never replaced them. I've lost my left ring finger last week as a result. Resolution denied. Negligible damage. Claimant is right-handed, so the magnitude of this loss is minimal. Update claim loss of three fingers. The saw was working, came loose yesterday on account of CMP skipping routine maintenance checks. The accident took two fingers from my right hand and another from my left. Resolution denied. Self-disqualification claimant was missing a finger from a previous incident and should not have been operating sharp machinery. Update loss of four fingers. So they've lost eight fingers now. Telate shift left serial Kate's in his current. I can't even read. Resolution denied. Claim unintelligible. Oh, that poor lady. Oh, dang it. I forgot. I'm not done. So let's see, filed on behalf of CNP. Loss of one worker's assistant saw operator, uh, F. Cartwright lost several digits due to carelessness and negligence. She failed to heed pr prox prominently posted warnings about the state of our safety equipment and her resultant injuries have decreased our factory's productivity and led to multiple stress headaches for management as we struggle to reshuffle worker schedule, uh, workers' schedules around 16J. Resolution approved. Wow. Wow. You're company gets their insurance filled, but you don't as the worker. Anyway, policy details, Fenhill, Maryland. Cause of death, cervical fracture, fashion related incidents, staircases, monthly payout, 25,000 bits. Beneficiaries, Theodora Fenhill and Lionel Witherspoon. So we're gonna change the beneficiary to Ellie Fenhill. Creating new beneficiary account to Ellie Fenhill, removing Theodora and Lionel. Success, all future payouts will be rooted to Ellie Fenhill. That beep for me. Oh. No, oh, I can hack him. Hang on, let's try this. We haven't done this before. <laughs> it just dis it disables them. That's hilarious. And I love it. Oh, there's Ellie. Hang on, let's uh, loot the place. I need money for upgrades. What's over here? Can we talk? Yeah, we can talk. Can we can we go to a place where it's less obvious that we've been robbing the place and committing fraud? Eh, eh, eh. There we go. Oh, he's back up and running. Well, that so much for that lasting longer than I thought it would. All right, Ellie, let's save, head outside, and talk to you out here while you're in the ground. You really did it. Give these payouts a few years and I'll be rolling in it. Yeah. Well, how does it feel? If that's all you wanted, you could have just stayed in Byzantium. That is a, a, that is a legitimate statement. So congrats, Ellie, and then let's talk about this later. Now, how does it feel? I've never been prouder to stand back and watch someone else work. <laughs> I'm just glad my folks aren't gonna live off that awful story they made up. Maybe now they'll have to go back to real jobs. I 
I, I seriously doubt that. Cut to the chase. What are you gonna do with those bits? Good for you. It's hot. Yeah, real jobs? What were they doing before? Maybe as line holders or warm bodies? <laughs> those are real jobs? Oh, sure. You've got to wait in line for just about anything in Byzantium. And not everyone has the time or inclination to do it themselves. Oh. As for warm bodies, some companies like to keep extra workers on site to look more productive. Oh. Uh, and they, so they basically just don't do anything? Oh, no. There's lots of paper shuffling and pen clicking that goes on. The really good ones know how to leave sticky notes in just the right places. See, this is why I had to get out of Byzantium. Not sure what comes next for me, though. I've never been much of a planner. I mean, yeah. Uh, why not? You've got to plan ahead at some point. Yeah, why are you not so much of a planner? I mean, I'm not surprised, but let's ask the question anyway. Maybe you haven't noticed, but you can't even count on a bribe making it into the right pocket. <laughs> What's the point of planning for anything around here? Hmm, that's the kind of thinking that's running this place into the crapper. Hmm, forget it. I guess there isn't one. I, I... I guess there isn't a point in planning. Maybe? Anyway, enough of that. You did a job for me, so here's your fee. I appreciate it, but I didn't do it for the money. I'm glad of remembering what's important. No, I didn't do it for the money. I did it because we're friends. Don't make it weird. <laughs> Even you've got to be in it for the money now and then. Why else would you go through all this trouble? I mean, I do appreciate the money, but you're my friend, and that's what friends do. You sure? Because my kind of friends will pick your pocket clean while they're getting hammered with you. Friendship's important. What else are we fighting for if not for people we care about? I'm a doer, not a talker. Let's just leave it at that. We're better off when we're part of a team. We can't make it out here alone. I don't think we can. But, um... Yeah, let's go with that one. Well, I've got a few years of experience that would suggest differently. Still, maybe you've got a point. Maybe it's good to watch someone's back now and then so that one day they watch yours. Exactly. So, you just keep the money. One of us has to look out for your interests. <laughs> uh, wouldn't want to be indebted to me, I'm assuming? It's nothing personal. It's just the closest thing I've got to a code. Anyway, enough of the touchy feelies, huh? <laughs> Let's talk about something else. Something on your mind? I guess that's it. So, low crusade completed. Ellie gained the Beyond the Grave perk. Okay, let's look at the quest we just finished first. Okay, so the update says that you got Ellie her money and showed her the value in looking out for others. I feel like Ellie isn't going to actually learn that lesson like the game wants her to, but it's fine. So let's see. She has Beyond the Grave perk reduces the cost of bribing people. Bribes cost 50% less. Wow, that's actually really nice. It's actually like really, really nice. Okay, well, I know I still need to figure out this... Uh, clothing situation but we're gonna put that off for a minute we are gonna head back to the groundbreaker which means we need to head back to our ship which is parked over here somewhere i think maybe there we go interior so we can go to the groundbreaker and turn in the quest for the fallbrook people it's not Fallbrook people. It's for the sublight people. She's going to get pissed at me. And then we also need to do Don't Bite the Sun. And Parvati can finally go on her date. So let's try and do those two things at least today. And Groundbreaker. Destination reached. The Groundbreaker. Hang on. There's the hope. Has the hope always been there? And I've just never noticed it? But there's Eridanos, Tartarus, Olympus. Hmm. I'm wondering which one is for Gorgon, but we'll, we'll get there soon enough, I think. So let's go to the Groundbreaker. We'll bring Parvati and let's bring Nyoka. She's, she might be more encouraging. And actually, let's bring Ellie because I'm going to go see the pirates as well. So I feel like this will be a good mix. Ellie and Parvati are okay together, right? Maybe? 
It could happen, maybe. So let's see. For Parvati, we needed to... Once Parvati gets herself together, she can invite Junli back to the ship for their day. Check with her to see if she's ready. Okay. Do I need to... Oh, we need to be on the ground. We need to be on the unreliable to do this. Silly me. Back here we go. Now let's talk to Parvati. Getting way ahead of myself. All right. We're at the groundbreaker, Parvati. All right. She's on her way. How do I look? You look like you always do. You look terrific, though. Oh, my hands have finally stopped shaking. All right, all right. Deep breath. Here I go. Here you go. Oh. Apparently it's later. Let's go check in on the date. Oh gosh, I hope this went well. After all the effort we went through, this better have been the best date ever in like the history of ever. Oh. Anyhow, so I told him, Dad, I'm a big girl now. I ain't need your help. I can do it on my lonesome. What did he say to that? Have at it then. And he handed me his favorite wrench, the one he used for the canner. He's probably half as tall as I was. He didn't scold you for talking back to him? Nah, he was never like that. I always thought it was funny when I get indignant about something. <laughs> then he'd watch me do whatever it was, make sure I didn't get hurt, but he'd never interfere. I learned a lot that way. I wish I could have met him. Anyone who helped shape you must have been a special person. Oh, look at their cute day. There's flowers and she is... She is all dressed up. I'm totally spying. <laughs> Hi, don't mind me. Hey, take it easy with... My father and I were often at loggerheads. He had notions of how the station should be run, and I had others. He was fond of saying, you think Groundbreaker pays for itself? Someone's got to cover the bills when I chafed against his deference to the board. Sounds like he was afraid of him. He was, and he was right to be. Didn't mean I had to like it. Anything else? Should I... Should I go? What about your mama? I, I don't mean to pry, you just hardly mention her and I I've been wondering. She passed when I was small. Taught me how to change a fuse on her deathbed. Even sick, she was patient with me. She kept exhaustive journals of my childhood, my father said. Like she was A-B testing child rearing. <laughs> Must be you got that exacting nature from her. Exacting is a kind way to put it. Inflexible, my father would have said. Bullheaded. Cold. Oh, it's kind of awkward. If you're cold, then I'm the void of space. Cold. Pfft. That's the silliest thing I ever heard. I thank you. I feel like I should be standing back a little farther. Give him some more privacy. Don't mind me. Just, um, you know, hanging out. Doing stuff. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Sorry. Um. How, how, how's it going? Should I say anything? Captain, no spying. Okay. Okay. I'm out of here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Is that it? it don't bite the sun. So... Parvati and Junlei seem to be having a great time. You should leave the ship and let them enjoy their date together. Oh, okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm supposed to give you some privacy. I'm such a bad wing person. <laughs> okay. Let's leave the ship. And we'll, we'll bring um, Sam and Ellie with me. And it's going to tell me to go back on the ship now, right? Because I just heard my quest update. <laughs> Gosh, Ellie. So let's see what to say now. Parvati's date with Julie's over. Ask her how the night went. Ooh. How'd it go? You were dressed. Your outfit looks so pretty. And all the food and the flowers. And then your captain was spying on you. <laughs> Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? I don't. I don't know. Oh, 
What the heck? Who ordered the cows? Parvati, did you order the cows? What's going on? Okay, Captain, she's gone. Did it go well? I want all the details before you say anything. I want to be clear that I'm done <laughs> running around for you. Great, I'm sure something broke while you were busy. You best get to it. No, I want all the details. I feel like running laps around the cargo bay. Oh, yay. So she got here and, well, she sneezed. She said, wow, new soap? And I was like, yeah, rosish. <laughs> Turns out it tickled her nose. Oops. Oops. And then she just sort of touched my arm real gentle-like and called the cut of my outfit elegant. Aww. I couldn't hear the rest on account of my heart was beating so hard. Then I led her into the kitchen. I think she about cried when she saw the spread. <laughs> Aww. So you laid out the meal, brought June in, started the music. I know I, <laughs> I was there. <laughs> I figured you'd do this someplace more romantic, like the engine room. Let's skip to the good part. No, no. So we're going to do it step by step. She stood stock still and just said, Oh, real soft. Oh, and let me tell you, I was sweating. And then she blinked and said, Is that dustback casserole? I told her how we got Mr. Raymond to bake it for us, so it was double authentic. Made by a real live... Monar monarchian? Monarchist? Monarch person. Monarch person. Uh, so the meal went well. The dessert, too. I wasn't sure about that guy. I'm glad the end result was good. Uh, no, how about dessert? Well, we talked a bunch over dinner about the things we learned just through messages, stuff we repaired, how I taught her to salvage, and she taught me to build. When I brung out the sweetheart cakes, June, she got a little teary, said she had a thing she needed to say. Oh, no. But I stopped her because I wanted to say it first. I never felt so bold, Captain. Good. And? And? I told her about how she made me feel. Bold like I acted. Strong. Smarter and kinder than I am on my lonesome. I listed all the things I liked about her. And then she pulled out a paper and read a speech. She, she talked about the things she admired about me, like my cleverness and my humor and how it made her want to be more open. Oh. So what happened next? Don't leave me in suspense. Wait, she wrote a speech to declare her love? It's fine. It's some people need to write down their thoughts so that they actually make sense. I can understand that. Anyhow, when she wrapped up, I asked her to be my girlfriend. And Captain, she said yes! Yay! And then she sneezed again <laughs> on account of the flowery soap. Oh, what about your disinterest in physical affection? The affect affection the important thing is no more random errands oh that was very sweet i'm i'm happy for her let's just focus on that it's all on your account you know imagine if you'd never taken me out of edgewater i'd have never met june lay at all i don't know nothing about the vicar's capital p plan but you've sure changed my life so if you don't mind I'm just going to head to my cabin and happy screaming to my pillow for like an hour. <laughs> oh, that's so great. Oh, I'm so happy for you, Parvati. Thank God it went good. So don't bite the sun. So Parvati had her date with June Lay. Thanks in no small part to your help. Seriously, I feel like I did all the work. <laughs> so Parvati's date with June Lay is over. Ask her how the night went. And she also should have her perk as well. What does it say? Enchanting evening. Food and drink effects last longer. I mean, I never use them anyway. I could probably spend years fixing this boat. Did you... Who brought... Who brought the cows on board? Like, seriously, who brought them here? You guys made Ada very angry. Did I get anything else? I've done all my companion quests now, so I, f I feel like I should get, like... I feel like I should get an achievement and I probably would have if I didn't use the I went through the epic store for this one and I don't think I'll be doing it again the epic store's fine but like I don't get pop-up achievements and it bugs me something on your mind mm, I guess that's it and Sam did you bring in the cows every Sam unit comes lean mean and ready to clean mm -hmm. yes Felix, was it you? Good to see you, boss. Nyoka. Hey, Cap. Hmm. Vicar, I don't think you did it, but let's ask anyway. I find myself marveling 
some... Hmm. Okay, that's it, I guess. Do you had something else, maybe? I feel like I got something when I helped you out. Framed insurance check. Proof that crime pays in monthly installments. Unlocks the perk beyond the gray for Ellie. Oh, that's really funny. Okay, well, now we're going back to the groundbreaker again for like the third time <laughs> for the Chimera's last experiment. Oh dear, she's going to be pissed at me because I didn't kill the doctor because the doctor wasn't an alien and there's no alien conspiracy theor theories or it, it all proved to be false, I think. But it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. Oh, we need to take off Sam, then bring Parvati. There we go. Although I could probably bring Felix. <gasps> I should probably totally bring Felix. Okay, well, I did end up switching out Parvati for Felix because I feel like he will appreciate the alien conspiracy theories and the anger over it so much better than Parvati ever would. So let's go up to Lilia and see how mad she gets me. I wonder if I could lie. That would be good. That'd be really useful. Tobias, anything new from you? I got no clue what half the junk on this desk is for, except the lamp. Improvised weapon. What? Um, okay. Hi, Lilia. I, I've got an update for you. Is it done? Uh, I, I spoke to Chartrand and I'm not going to kill her. <gasps> well, damn. Contractor grew a conscience. As your employer, I'm both angry and disappointed. I'll add that to your file. Technically, I owe you an exit interview. Care to justify your betrayal of our species? Or are we finished here? Oh, well, um, you misunderstood Chartrand's research. She's our best shot at survival in Halcyon. You're crazy, Lilia. I'm not killing someone to feed your paranoia. <laughs> Do I at least get a letter of referral? <laughs> Let's try to reason with her. I feel like it's not going to work, but I can try, right? You're awfully quick to trust someone who offed her colleagues and called it a good start. Out of my office. We're done. This is why I always ask for half my payment up front. Yeah. The thanks we get for showing a little integrity. Yeah. Oh, wow. And level 30. Wow. Okay, well, I guess I guess we'll leave and and then we'll level up. I did level up before I started the video today, but apparently I can do it again. <laughs> okay, let's see. Out we go. Oh darn. Well, next time I play this game, I'm gonna have to try it with uh with with killing Dr. Chartrand, but let me see if I can find the quest for it. Okay, so here we go. So you chose to spare Dr. Ava Chartrand's life in exchange. He agreed to help carry out Phineas's something, something. And I can't scroll down and I can't double click on it. Oh, well, and I failed. I failed big time. But it looks like Ellie and Felix can also get another perk. Hmm. That's great, but I don't even know what to pick. Oh, and I've got a old, a reliable spacer's choice. I should give that to Parvati, maybe. Let's see, my character. So I finished, I put everything into lie before I started today's video. So let's get lie up to 80. So auto mechanical scramble chance is plus 10%. So let's do that one. And then I feel like I should start putting some more points in long guns, but hmm. Yeah, I think we're going to do that because I feel like the cost is getting pretty expensive expensive for each upgrade for guns. And then I have to come up with another perk that I want. Hmm. Well, I think I am going to end up going with Cheetah and it says they're not slow, you're just fast, which increases my sprint speed by 20%. Again, I'm not sure it's the best decision, but it's, it's the decision I'm going to make right now. I still need to figure out what perks to give to both Ellie and Felix, but I'm gonna put that on the back burner because I'll probably do that when I'm on the ship again because I need to go through each companion and figure out what's best. Near maple syrup. It's near this complete breakfast. Yeah, and I think I am actually probably going to, well, not probably, I am going to pause here for today. I only have a couple of side quests left. So it's make suits, make space suits won't travel. I need to figure out 
outfits for both Iconoclast, Marauder, and Spacer. Not both, all of them. Um, I think I might have them, but I need to kind of go through my stash and see what's in there and then head back to Byzantium to do that. And then I can also head back to Byzantium and do all Halcyon in a day, but I'm gonna do those at the beginning of Tuesday's video. And then once those are done, I think I'll start my Perils of Gorgon, Peril on Gorgon rather, DLC, and then work on that one for the rest of the time that I have on Tuesday, because I think I'm at a good point to pause when it comes to the main quest. From what I read online, you have to reload, like if you finish the base game and then before the DLCs came out, you had to reload to like the, the point of no return. And I don't think I'm there yet, but I feel like I'm getting close. If I'm gonna go get the hope, I feel like it's gonna come upon me very soon. And I figure let's just do the DLCs now before we get any further and then and then go from there. But but yeah, there there's my long rambling explanation on what is next and 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 now I'm done with it. <laughs> so as always, thank you so very much for watching. Please do keep yourselves safe and I will see you again on Tuesday with another new Outer Worlds video.